Now, y'all probably thought that we were done actually making a Rank Seasons debut video for today, but no, we got one more in store for you all. We got the almighty Ted Williams, arguably the best hitter to ever touch the diamond. Now, as I said in the previous video, you guys have been slacking when it comes to hitting that like goal. 15 likes, that's what me and Ted Williams want in this video, so make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. If you can hear me right now, and you're not hitting the like button, you're disappointing me a little bit, but you definitely have disappointed Ted Williams, and now whenever he plays for you, he's going to go 0 for 20 to start off, because that's how disappointed he is. We are also trying to hit our subscriber goal of 900 subscribers, so make sure you go ahead and sub up if you are new to the channel. Anyways, it's the first at bat for Ted Williams. He's going to get a fastball with that. We just get under it, and we're going to fly out to the center fielder for the first out of the game. Now, that was a pretty deep fly out if you ask me and that was a pitch that I thought I got under it greatly and when I saw the PCI feedback I was under the ball greatly now we get a base hit with Joe Random and then he does some matrix move just to dodge that ball we get a base hit with Ken Griffey Jr. and then Eddie Murray who made his ranked seasons debut today if you guys missed that video it's literally the previous video uploaded or most likely the most recent video uploaded I should say if it's not then I must have uploaded some 2k today as well so he got to fly out and now we're headed into the bottom of the second or third whichever one it was I believe it was the second although Chipper Jones got a base hit and then Wayno I thought he had gotten a base hit but the right fielder teleported and got the ball regardless so he gets a base hit now in the top of the third Joey Votto up to hit with two outs and he's gonna hit a fly ball to center field to actually go ahead and end the inning so Wayno so far or not even Wayno I'm not is it Wayno pitching or is it Hershiser? I think it's Wayno. Regardless, Ted Williams up to bat in his second at bat. He's going to get a line drive to actually go ahead and get the first out of the inning once again. And then I was unsure of what happened here exactly because the game just froze. And then the left fielder missed the ball. Our guy didn't even run to first base. I decided to stay at first base because the biggest advice or the best advice I should say I could give you guys when something glitchy happens with the game just stay at whatever base you're at if you only get a single and it was supposed to be let's say a triple or a double stay at first base you guys will be a lot happier with the result rather than going ahead and trying to get three and then magically being out by a mile and you don't even know exactly what happened anyways eddie murray decided to show you guys some glove he turns to right there and now eddie murray hitting in the bottom of the fourth and he's gonna hit a no doubt home run so right now i'm looking at eddie murray and i'm like dude this is not your ranked season's debut. We had a streak going on where we had literally hit a home run in every single ranked season's debut, and you ruin it to go ahead and hit a home run, not in your debut, but in Ted Williams' debut? Like, how selfish of a player you can you be? We get a base hit, and then Wayno, he gets jammed. We're trying to hit a home run with Wayno. If there's any starting pitcher I know that can hit a home run, it's definitely him. So that's what I'm trying to do. Russell Martin is going to get it past the dive in Cal Rukin Jr. It just beat Cal Rukin Jr. And now Tony Gwynn with the 1-1 count. He's going to fly out to Ted Williams. Now, some of you might be wondering, how is Ted Williams' defense out there in left field? We get jammed right here. That's our fault. Fastball should have been crushed. So right now, I'm also learning Ted Williams' swing. I have to also remind you guys of that. You guys are going to see more ranked seasons gameplay, and there you will see me basically adjust and hit a lot better with Ted Williams as this one hits off the wall and actually gets us a triple with Willie Mays. Now, going back to the previous question, some of you might be wondering, how good of a defender is Ted Williams in left field considering he only has 70 fielding and then his reaction is a 67, which are both piss poor. Now, I do have to say, this entire game, which is the only game we've played so far with Ted Williams, he didn't do bad at all. His reactions all were good, and he fielded everything correctly. You know, everybody that has lower than gold or diamond fielding, whenever they're catching a ball to either their left-hand side or their right-hand side, they give you a heart attack because they get into this, like, little stutter step motion, and then they grab it. And he did it a couple of times, but none of them were an error or looked ugly at all. So I do have to say that Ted Williams at left field is definitely the move. You're not going to want to play him at his secondary in right field because that's going to drop him at a silver tier fielding. And silver tier fielding compared 
compared to bronze tier fielding is a humongous difference. Now, Carroll Ripken Jr., I expected the guy to make the play. Now, if we did have, let's say, Willie Mays in left field, that 100% would have been caught by Willie Mays. But because Ted Williams is a silver fielder, that drops and Kevin Jr. is unable to make the difficult play. Francisco Lindor follows it up by hitting a three-run shot. And now, I'm just pissed, honestly. Because once somebody gets a late jam base hit, it drops in there, they score a run. It just messes up your starting pitcher's confidence. We went for a mound visit and his confidence basically skyrocketed back up. So I thought he was good. But unfortunately, he just messed it up all over again by allowing that three-run shot. And then we absolutely square up a curveball. We read it perfectly, and we went ahead and grounded into a double play. And that just messed me up big time with my head. We brought in Adrian Gonzalez to pinch hit. But in my head, I was just like, wow, are you serious? After we get runners on base, we have an opportunity to come back and tie the game. And we're going to square up double play. That absolutely stinks. And then Ted Williams, I kid you not, this is probably the worst appearance you've ever seen for a ranked season's debut. Literally, Ted Williams fouls out. And out of every single time a player can get an animation and get a foul ball, it so happens to be when Ted Williams is making his ranked season's debut. Like, you can't make this up. Joe Random, you guys saw him hit a two-run, no-doubt home run. Eddie Murray's going to come in and hit a single. So I'm like, okay, Eddie Murray, I'm fine with you showing up this game. Since we were trailing, Kyle Jr. says, hey, no Ernie Banks here. We're not getting Ernie Banks. I am your starting shortstop and will remain your starting shortstop. I was like, chill out, Cal. We weren't planning on replacing you regardless. Chipper Jones is going to get a double in the gap. So Chipper Jones, I can't wait till I get his signature series card. That card is going to be a permanent staple in third base. And then Ted Williams coming up for, I think, his fifth at bat. I thought, finally, we got the base hit. But Roberto Alomar is going to go ahead and make a diving catch. And I'm just like, he can't catch a break. Even when we hit the ball well, we just hit it right at the fielder. So that was unfortunate for Ted Williams. Billy Wagner is going to come in, although, to try to close the game for us. He's going to give up a base hit to Russell Martin. And then the big almighty Frank, we were scared to pitch to him, so we're trying to beat him inside. He's going to pull this ball past Karukin Jr. And now with an 0-1 count on Tony Gwynn, he's going to hit a pop-up that the goal tier fielding Eddie Murray is going to catch for the final out. So unfortunately, Ted Williams went 0 for 5. Not exactly the ranked season's debut you want to see, but to see more gameplay of him, make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button. Follow me on all social medias at Blademist. Have a blessed day and night, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.